let me tell you a story. Today, with some free time on my hands, I sat at a nearby cafe and reflected on my life during my 20s. Back then, it seemed like everything was in disarray, with nothing to anchor my soul and no clear direction to follow. While most young people in their 20s were out pursuing money, building careers, or getting married, I remained stagnant. My job was unstable, finances were tight, and love seemed elusive. If you find yourself in a similar situation, know that you're not alone. Let me share with you my own experience of feeling lost ever since I settled in a foreign country, where I had to make choices I didn't want to make. It's quite coincidental that today I learned the phrase, between a rock and a hard place, meaning that no matter what you choose, it's uncomfortable and exhausting. That's where I find myself at that time. Sometimes in life, we don't always have the choice between right and wrong, satisfaction and dissatisfaction, or clearly beneficial and detrimental situations. We find ourselves caught between two options. Difficult or even more difficult, painful or even more painful. It's like neither option is right, and whichever we choose is still wrong. I personally found myself trapped in such a situation after settling down, unsure whether to continue studying a field I didn't like or endure a job I hated just for financial security. In the end, I chose to continue studying. The price of going back to school after working is that my finances are no longer as abundant as before, and studying becomes more challenging due to the time gap. It truly feels like nothing is perfect. I'm studying under pressure in a field I dislike, but I chose to continue because I believe having a university degree is beneficial. And who knows, maybe I'll develop an interest as I delve deeper into it. At the same time, I'm studying while working part-time, burdened with heavy financial concerns. Starting in my 20s, it seems like every choice is like a thousand-pound rock pushing me into an abyss. But what can I do except embrace that rock and keep crawling forward? So I went back to studying. My job changed, my position changed, and everything seemed like a more difficult fresh start. There were days when I sat and pondered, feeling terrible when my job was not going smoothly due to changing companies, and my studies had their ups and downs. I truly admire young people who have had a clear career direction from a young age or know what they want and enjoy. Not everyone can have that, and not everyone has the courage to pursue what they desire. I have a friend who loves drawing, and they're quite talented at it. However, they hesitate to choose a career in art or design simply because they fear not finding a job and lack confidence in their abilities. Every day, they come up with a multitude of excuses to justify their abandonment, from blaming the family for discouraging them to citing economic conditions and society's conservative views on pursuing art. It's all just a cover-up for their lack of effort. Therefore, for those who have passions and interests and are willing to pursue them, I truly admire them. I don't fall into the above cases, meaning I'm neither exceptionally skilled nor extremely passionate about anything. But you know what? That's perfectly normal. Sometimes, social media glorifies talented individuals and promotes a society of exceptions, making us think that's what normal is. But in reality, those individuals are outliers, and if we don't belong to that group, it's perfectly normal. Our task is to continue striving with choices that may not bring much joy but are less painful. You may not know what you truly need, so just experience things within your reach. I studied arts, so it was quite difficult to get involved in business. However, I was fortunate to find some friends in online businesses. I learned a lot from them and I could run my own online business on Amazon nowadays. That's how my life took a turn toward the online business. Currently, I still struggle with money, but the opportunities that come my way gradually make me realize that I enjoy working in the business. Life can push you in a different direction even if you started in arts, and with the support of those who have gone before you, you can find a shorter detour. So, in reality, life has many forks on the road. If you're feeling lost, our job is to keep going. Our lives are like driving a car, where Google Maps represents the knowledge we need to search and learn and the people around us are the ones who have gone before us and can offer advice and guidance. Earth doesn't grant anyone exceptions. If you want to succeed, you have to go through pain and struggle. Our lives aren't always terrible, and they aren't always ugly. It's just a matter of choosing how we perceive our own lives. It's true that choosing to go back to studying is challenging, but it opens up more opportunities to explore what we've missed. It's true that an unstable job brings pressure but it also provides financial stability and good friends. 
It's true that between two difficult choices, any decision may bring hardship, but haven't we choose the option with less pain? If you're currently stuck in such a situation, have you tried pausing and listing down the things I mentioned? List out what you have and don't have, and make a five-year plan for yourself. Of course, this plan is not about listing what you want, but rather the current state you're in, the possible directions for further development, the branching points, and what to do in case of failure. I have done this and felt a significant reduction in pressure, so I think it might be helpful for you as well. For example, let's do it like this. Today, go buy a small notebook. On the first page, write down your current situation very clearly. On the next page, write down the dissatisfactions you're currently experiencing. Then, use a different colored pen to underline important events to see if they can be changed. On the next page, think about what you would do next and what you would seek if the situation could be changed. On the following page, state the worst case scenario where nothing changes. How would you accept that terrible situation, and what could be the next possible direction? For me, the world is divided into two halves. One is fighting for what I desire, and the other is accepting what I currently have. So, if you feel lost, try this approach. In addition to the main branches of life, don't forget about your small personal aspirations. Suppose you're studying arts but want to open a coffee shop. In your five-year plan notebook, include a small section for opening a coffee shop. Then, list down what you need to prepare and research whenever you have free time. Even if you're not exceptionally smart, you can still make an effort, and even if you're not extremely talented, you can still gradually develop. You can open a coffee shop at the age of 20, 30, or even 50 or 60. As long as you're healthy and moving forward, success is not limited to any age. I believe you can do it. Even when the sky collapses, it will still leave us a gap to rise up, isn't that right? Thank you for watching, and we'll see you at the next one.